This evening, we are hearing from one of the families helped by the charity. They are see-through. They are a pound and a half each, and it was really scary. It was a really long time before I think we understood that they were going to survive. It's scary looking. And then even when they weren't pregnant. Their little eyes I love. I love them so much. <laughs> I really love everyone here so much. One of the workers here has twins, and when we moved out, there was a note on the counter in the bathroom of handwritten tips for a twin mom, and just things that, I, I have it in, I made them boxes of things I'm keeping from like the hospital thing, and I put it in there. I was like, I'm gonna tell them about her, because that's just so sweet, just the little things. There's always notes on the doors, like, good luck, good job, you're doing so good. There's always Valentine's. They, they care about people mm -hmm. here a lot. They're very yeah. nice. We didn't go through this alone at all, no. which was very nice. Meeting a group of people whose goal to get up every day is to help other people is pretty... I've heard of Ron the Bomb House. I've never been in one. I've never met people that have been to them or worked in one. And it, mm -hmm. it was very shocking just how much of a community is just in this building. Yeah. Like it's a family here because you never know in your life when something huge is just gonna rock your world and how much you're gonna have to rely on people you don't even know.